Hello everybody and welcome back to Achieve Wolf Collection. Thank you so much for coming back and watching each one of my videos. You guys are absolutely amazing. Today's going to be a very fun video. I've got two different Sailor Moon collections that we have to talk about because I just got my haul in. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> I just want to say real quick before we jump into the two collections that I want to talk about today. If you are brand new to the channel, hello, my name is Brooke, or you can call me Ochi. I am at Ochiba Wolf everywhere on social media, and I really just like to buy things. I don't want to consider myself a hoarder, but I'm this close. That's close. It's mainly Sailor Moon, Pokemon, Disney, My Little Pony, Monster High. Some of those collections you haven't seen yet, but I do plan on sharing someday on social media. So if that's of interest to any of you guys watching for the first time, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Join our growing pack here on YouTube. You are going to like it here, I promise. And if not, you can always click unsubscribe, but please don't, please stick around. Okay, so you guys are probably wondering, which collections, Brooke? Actually, you probably already know because it's probably already in the thumbnail. So in that case, I'll just go ahead and tell you guys. Um, I did get my Case Defy order in the mail this week. So we are going to take a look at what I ordered and see what I think about these pieces from Case Defy. And then also I got some of the Pomelo and Sailor Moon fashion collection that came out in December 2021. I've got some cool information regarding this collection and how I was able to buy a few of the pieces without using a proxy. That's right, I was able to order directly for this. I'm going to tell you guys all about what happened a little later on in the video because I do want to talk about the Case Defy stuff first. Yeah, can you guys see the envelope that the Case Defy stuff comes in? It basically just says Case Defy all over. So yeah, you know what you're getting right when you open up your mailbox. But you guys out there know about Case Defy, right? If not, they are a cell phone case company that began almost seven years ago making personalized phone cases from your own Instagram photos. They later evolved to just making cases in general and they've collaborated with huge brands such as Pokemon and Lisa Frank over the years. I personally first heard about Case Defy in 2019, I believe, when they came out with their Lisa Frank collaboration. I was a 90s kid, so I was really into Lisa Frank as a child. When they said that they were going to be doing Lisa Frank cases, of course, I had to pick up a few, and these were the two that I have used, and so I'm pretty familiar with Case Defy cases, and I have a pretty solid opinion on them, so I was really, really stoked when they said that they were going to be collaborating with Sailor Moon because I did enjoy the two Lisa Frank cases that I got from them. And this is still on my old phone, by the way. <laughs> Look at my little aliens. And then here's Marky the Unicorn. FYI, Marky the Unicorn was my favorite Lisa Frank character ever. And this one is a really cool, like, glittery water case. I wonder why we didn't get any of those for the Sailor Moon collection. That would have been cool. But yes, back to the Sailor Moon ones. We covered every single bit of information from the Case to Find Sailor Moon launch on SailorMoonFanNetwork.com. So I'm not going to go over everything. I'll have a link down there below so you can go check out our excellent informational blog post about the collection. But fans did have early access to buy the Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon collection on June 29th, 2022. And then they became available to the public on June 30th, which is Usagi birthday. The collection included cases for all the current iPhone models, some of the Google Pixels, Samsung Galaxy models, and some really odd items like a Switch case and a water bottle. Those messed me up, man. What is going on? A Switch case? A Switch case that's like over $70? I went back and forth so many times on that Switch case, guys. I've talked about it in a stream here on YouTube that I was like, should I get this? Because I'm a really big Switch gamer. I love playing my Switch. And I would love to have an officially licensed Sailor Moon Switch case, but that cost, man. It just really made me double think things. And as of now, as of me filming this video right now, I have not bought that case. Personally, it just, it wasn't enough for me to justify spending the 73 odd dollars that it is. But if you guys actually got the Switch case, please, please, please let me know your thoughts on it down there in the comments. I've got to know, is it worth it? Is it not worth it? Are you mad you bought it? Are you happy you bought it? Tell me, please, tell me. I must know because even still today, I'm like, oh, am I going to regret it? Because some of the items did sell out. So what I got, I got two items from the collection and I feel like they took so long to get to me. Like, check this out. I ordered these two items uh, June 29th, which was the early access for fans that answered a little Sailor Moon questionnaire that they had on their site. 
and then I got them on July 15th. So it took them almost like two weeks to get to me. And the reason why I bring that up is so many other fans got them before me and were kind of messaging me and contact me and leaving comments on my socials telling me what they thought of the items they got. And I was hearing mixed reviews like all over the place. So I was getting real worried that I wasn't going to be happy with what I got. Some people were like, oh my gosh, my case came super pixelated. I'm really not happy with the image quality on the case. And then other people were saying, I really love what I got. I enjoy this. Everything looks great. My case came in good quality. The image quality is good. So I really heard both sides. So I was really super freaking nervous for getting mine. And the longer the wait, I was like building up all this anxiety. Like, oh man, come on case. If I do Sailor Moon right, please. Like I said, I only got two items and I, I want to talk about this item item first which is the bead charm and this is the box that it comes in it's actually a huge box I did not expect it to be this big but I am really pleased I want to say with the graphic design on the box because sometimes they just don't do a collab specific design on the box and they did for Sailor Moon so we do have Sailor Moon silhouette on the back we have the Sailor Moon logo on a few sides of the box and it's just all Sailor Mooned out super cute i'm really happy with the box design and i am a sucker for boxes like i know this is stuff that is typically trashed or recycled i love it when the companies go that extra mile to make it all sailor mooned out happy with the box design oh my god oh my god it's huge look at this it looks like it could be a necklace do you think i can wrap this around my head i mean we're gonna find out for sure oh my goodness it's super beautiful though wow look at that and i'm a big fan of wrist straps i feel like that is like the safest thing for your expensive smartphones that you carry around everywhere you know if you, in case you accidentally drop it man that wrist strap's gonna catch it for you it does have a little little booklet in here it just states some warnings how to use this product and how to clean the product so that's about it the charms are actually pretty good quality we've got a luna charm a sailor moon and caseify logo charm and then we have a crescent moon charm and then just a couple of different stars one is pink one is yellow and then the rest of the whole wrist is just pearl beads and then out of all the cases i only settled on one of the cases i have an iphone 12 pro i went with the sailor moon sticker mania case and the cool thing about this one is you can actually customize it just slightly as far as colors go depending on what phone model you have and i picked hot pink it just slides out like that presentation is very nice and boy is that hot pink it's pink it's pink super beautiful i'm actually kind of happy i chose the hot pink it's really striking it gets your attention you know when i have this out and about you know people are gonna know people are gonna be like oh is that a sailor moon case and why yes indeed it is let's take a selfie show us how you style your case hashtag case defy you know I'm gonna be hashtagging them for sure. We're gonna have to show them our moon pride. And here is how the case looks outside of its package. Now the Sticker Mania case looks like it's actual stickers. However, these are just printed on the case and they do look slightly pixelated as you can see, but honestly comparing it to my Lisa Frank case that I got in 2019, it looks very similar to that. It's made of 50% recycled materials and also don't forget to remove that film on the back of the case. I almost did. It feels really durable and as I was kind of doing pressure tests with my hands and fingers it feels sturdy and that it would protect my phone. For the past couple of years I have been using the hood production cases and they've been great. Highly recommend those as well and I have a video on my channel all about those but you gotta have a little variety in life and it's time for a change. Let's get that little wrist strap installed. I actually had to look up the video on the Casetify site to see how this is put on as there is not a designated spot for this strap. It actually just ties around the mute button area of an iPhone. It's simple to install. Just thread the beads and charms through carefully as to not break a charm. And look at that, it's adorable. Now it's time to pop my phone into the case and see its final look. I can already tell this wrist strap is going to save my phone from dropping. Oh my god, I kind of love it. 
<laughs> and I'm laughing because so many people were contacting me on my social media pages and saying, oh my gosh, this charm is like a necklace. I don't know what to do with this. This is too big. The cases are pixelated. I don't like it. So I was really nervous of expecting me not to also, not to also, what is that even? Also not to like the case to five stuff, but guys, 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 I love mine. Maybe I'm easy to please, but this is cute as heck. Like, I feel like I could just sit here, you know, talking on the phone. And then if I go, oh my God, oopsies, you know, it catches it. It catches it. I'm kind of happy it's kind of this big. And remember, I did say I do enjoy wrist straps. And here is one of the ones that I have used before. And look at the difference in the sizes, guys. This is like a normal standard wrist wrap for phones compared to the Casetify one. Like it is definitely bigger. And also I cannot fit it around my head. It looked bigger in the box. Once I put it on my phone, I'm like, I don't think this is gonna fit like a necklace. So there you go, guys. It does not work as a necklace. <laughs> As you guys saw, my case it did come pixelated. I feel like the designs on the case, they're not very sharp. They do look pixelated. I have had people come to me say that, hey, mine also came pixelated, but we're gonna contact the Casetify customer service and see if they'll offer a replacement. And one person did tell me the Casetify customer service is amazing and they are replacing their case because they thought that theirs came defective and was really badly pixelated versus some of the other ones. So if yours comes and you are not happy with the quality. I have heard Case Defies customer service is good when it comes to that. Maybe they'll be able to either refund you entirely if you don't want a new one, or maybe you can see about getting a replacement and a better printed one. Personally, I'm happy with it. I'm gonna ding and beat this case to hell anyway. So I'm okay with it. And I also had my older ones to compare to and kind of looking at them, it's really honestly the same printing quality. I'm not super duper concerned about that. I'm fine with it. I think it still gets the point across that look at that Sailor Moon and Case Defy it's gorgeous it's going to be one of those phone cases that you know when I go out to dinner or when I go somewhere and I pop my phone out people are going to notice right off the bat all of this Sailor Moon stuff going on my phone like this is a lot to take in this big charm alone is just such a conversation starter for people who remember the anime. And I love, love, love the striking pink. I'm really happy that 50% of this is recycled. Save the planet, go green. It's amazing. So I can't be that upset. I would buy from Case to Buy again. I ended up really liking the long, almost necklace-like bead charm more than I thought I would. The case, as far as the pixelation goes, I'm not mad at it just because I have bought the Lisa Frank ones in the past and I knew what to expect. And also everybody was coming to me saying theirs looked the same way, so. I really wish we got something like this though with a little water and little glitter. These cases are freaking cool and I'm kind of sad to see that Case of I didn't offer anything cool like that. Even my alien one, my little Lisa Frank alien one has sand in it little water and sand and it can ch um, change colors from what is it purple pink to blue and so there was little cool features on the Lisa Frank collection but Sailor Moon didn't have anything like that you just got to change some of the colors around the edges and then pick which print you want on the case design. I now know why this big old thing was like $40 and yeah that was another complaint that I saw in the Sailor Moon community that this was just overpriced. I expected the cases to be around 50 60 dollars for good cases that's just the going rate right? you can't avoid that but this was kind of a shock at the price and also the switch case i'll never ever forget how much that switch case was because i've never seen a switch case cost that much for just being a case and not like you know a three-tiered system case that can hold your charger tons of games and yada 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 that case looked like a basic case to me so again if you guys got the case I've got to know more about it. Let me know what your thoughts are on it below. Dude, I am not mad at this case. I love it. I love it. I love it. I want to just call everybody that I know, tell them about this case. I love the bead charm. It's so big. It actually has a good functionality to it versus this one. Oh, I love it. I love it. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Can you just imagine me, guys, out and about just talking on this phone? Like, if you were a Sailor Moon fan and you saw somebody, you know, talking on their phone like this, you would probably say something afterwards, right? You'd be like, oh my God, I love your case. I love your case. This is worth it this is worth it you might even make a Sailor Moon friend locally it probably looks really good at this distance as well like look how cute that is I'm happy for a change too because I've had some of the hood production cases on my phone for a while and I'm just happy for a change it's so 
like fun just to change up your phone cases once in a while. Give your phone a fresh look. But guys, if you ask me, I love it. I haven't used it out yet, so I cannot speak on the functionality of this bead strap, but I definitely will update you guys on my socials, on what I think of it, especially in my stories, or maybe I'll even talk about it in a stream. I do live stream every Wednesday right here on YouTube at 7 p.m. Central Time. You guys should join in sometime. It's really fun and we talk about anything and they're so unedited and unprofessional. It's a good time. It's a good time. Sometimes I share things I shouldn't share too. Okay, okay, okay. We've got to talk about Pomelo now. And yeah, we have talked about Pomelo on the channel before. Pomelo. That big old hefty citrus fruit. And I only know what Pomelo is because of Ocean Bomb. I had to go research what the heck Pomelo was when I filmed the Ocean Bomb tasting video for the Sailor Moon flavor because she is the Pomelo flavor. And yeah, it's a, it's a citrus fruit. And there's apparently a fashion brand out of Thailand named after that. And yes, I have three clothing pieces today that I want to try on for you guys and see if I like it because this is my very first Pomelo purchase ever and this was only made possible because Pomelo USA, yes they do have a USA website, released some of the older Sailor Moon collection that came out December 2021 here on the USA site summer 2022. Somebody in my discord pointed it out and they're like oh my gosh guys you can buy some of the pomelo stuff and I'm like oh my god and then I spread the news everywhere so if you follow me on my socials you probably saw it. This was actually just last week and I was like this is amazing because all of these were retail cost. They didn't have the full collection anymore. Only a few pieces were left but they were pieces that I actually wanted and the whole reason why I didn't get anything at the time because you know you can still use proxies to get a lot of this stuff. You know when you use a proxy there's also a hefty commission fee plus you have to pay shipping and all of that you know shipping from another country and I just didn't have the money to pay for all of those extra fees associated with importing in some of the pomelo fashion I'm so glad I waited because they had the dress they had the shorts and they had the jacket which I'm going to show you guys the jacket in a bit and I got it all for a retail price and free DHL shipping from Thailand so it was amazing and all of these pieces were really affordable too. The dress was $55.99 and it's a jean jacket dress. I can't wait to see if it'll fit. We're going to try that on in just a second. And then also the cutest shorts in existence. Look at these, look at these, look at these. So cute. These were also $36.99. $36.99 for a pair of Sailor Moon jean shorts. Like these are cheaper than Hot Topic prices. It's wild. Look at this. I spread the news immediately once I was aware that some of the Sailor Moon Pomelo pieces were on the USA Pomelo site. Spread it all over. I hope you guys saw that in time if you wanted anything. And then guess what happened? So Pomelo actually announced that they were going to be dropping a Sailor Moon collection number two on July 15th. So there were some people who were like, okay, maybe Pomelo is going to be shipping to the United States now. We'll just wait to order some of the older pieces and grab some of the newer pieces. And what ended up happening was on July 15th, when Pomelo launched their 2022 collection, I have all the details down there, by the way, in the description, if you want to link to the full collection so you can see what they dropped, they took down the older pieces on that day. I don't know why, I, I can't tell you, but they took it down off of the United States site. So people who waited were like, crap, now we can't order this stuff because they're gone. When I go to look at my order on Pomelo's USA website, I can see the items that I ordered through my order history. But when I click on the item, it says this product is not available in your country. I don't know what happened. I can't explain it, guys. I am checking daily to see if that's going to change because if they had a few of the pieces, I'm sure they're going to be able to come back. So keep an eye on my socials if you guys are interested in that. I will definitely make sure you guys are in the know if that changes because I'm personally checking every day for myself because I want some of the new Pomelo stuff that came out July 15th. I really want some of these and I want to see how these look. So let's go ahead and get to the try on guys. Let's go ahead and get to the try on. Let's go. Let's go. Come with me. First up are the shorts. They are high waisted and so cute. Look at the little ruffles at the bottom. I am wearing a size 28 and I am happy to report I picked out the right sizes. It's always a risk when you are ordering from another country because you don't know if the sizes there are going to be comparable to the sizes in your country. Love the shorts, highly recommend them. But the next thing is a matching jean jacket. Now it is a crop 
jacket so it's not very long i am wearing a size medium in this jacket and it looks cute both buttoned up and unbuttoned i'm pleased as heck i mean look at my face i'm all smiley just going to show you a couple of different angles of this jacket. Hopefully these video clips and how they look on me help you decide if you ever want to give Pomelo a try and what sizes you might want to go for. When I did this, it felt like the sleeves got really short for a bit. I am five foot six if that helps any of you guys out there. So I did end up needing to pull them back down. And here's a little bit of a close up so you can really see the bow design on the jacket. So cute. Next up is the dress and it is a jean like material with a very cute transformation brooch design throughout the entire dress. There's a lot of different ways you can style this. I bet it would look adorable with a high-waisted belt. I can't wait to wear this out. I really think the length is perfect. It's not too short and it's not too long. It's just right in that Goldilocks zone. You guys will have to let me know if you ended up getting anything from Pomelo, whether that be via a proxy or direct. I'd love to know your thoughts on the pieces you got as well. What did you guys think of the Pomelo Sailor Moon items? I honestly loved each piece. I felt like the quality was spot on, spot on on the quality. Everything that I got were like jean like material. So they're pretty thick. Honestly, guys, this stuff is so cute and it fits so good. You know, sometimes, especially us living in the United States, we're a little hesitant to order certain sizes in other countries. Um, and also like specifically Asian countries, which tend to be a lot smaller in size compared to our United States sizes. So I was like hoping and praying that I got the right sizes when I'm ordering because of course, you know, returns, you can't exchange now. These items are gone from the site, so there's no exchanges possible. I am happy that all of the pieces fit okay. Whew, sigh of relief. The tags are so cute too, like good quality tags. You guys know I'm saving my tags. I'm putting them in a little card book in my collection. Let me know down there in the comments if you guys have bought any of the Pomelo items before because they have been out since December. And a lot of my followers, a lot of the people who watch my videos, you guys know that you can also use a proxy service of your choice to get some of these items. So it's possible you guys out there already have these items and you have your own opinions, you've already worn them a couple of times, or maybe you even caught the USA drop and you were able to grab some just like I was and you have them already because it ships super fast via DHL. So let me know down there if you guys ended up getting any of the Pomelo stuff, what your thoughts and opinions are, because you know, mine aren't the only ones out there. This is a very unique world. We all have different likes, dislikes. I personally loved everything. I'm so like excited to wear these out. And I think I'm gonna actually wear some out this weekend. Why am I doing this? I don't know, I'm just really excited. <laughs> I just thought that they were all like really flattering. Like this dress, I don't know, it's normally not something that I'd wear, like especially like buttoned up all the way up here to the collar, like by your neck. And I don't know. I, it's kind of cute. I am all set. I got my new phone case, my new phone charm, new clothing. Like this weekend, I'm about to be lit. I keep acting like I'm on my phone because it's just so cute. Like, please tell me, do you guys agree? Disagree? This is adorable. I gotta know your guys' opinion. So before you guys leave, please, please, please leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of the Caseify stuff. Was it your thing? Was it not your thing? And also if you got any of the Pomelo stuff. But I think that's it for this video today. If you guys are brand new to the channel and this was the first video you ever watched and you made it all the way to the end, I hope you enjoyed enjoyed my video, my content. And if you did, please consider subscribing to the channel. It's just a click of a button and it's completely free and it really helps my channel grow. And um, I'm on the road to 15,000 subs, babies. Help me get there. You guys know where to find me. I'm at Ochibo Wolf everywhere on social media. I will see you guys in the next video because you guys know I say this every time. More videos are coming, more and more and more. You're never gonna not see me on this channel. <laughs> Bye guys, seriously, have a great one. 
before we officially dive into all of these collections, it's not all these collections, there's only two, bro. There's only two. I'm off my game today, man, and I was really ready to come do this. Call me, beat me, if you want to meet me. 